Hi, in this problem we have a partial differential equation, del u del x plus k times del u del y is equal to zero. And we're being asked to show that u, which is given by this function here, is a solution. Where here f is just any differentiable function. So f is assumed to be differentiable in this problem. So to show it's a solution, we basically have to compute the partials del u del x and del u del y, and then plug them in and show that it's equal to zero. Let's go ahead and do it, solution. Let's start by computing del u del x. So we wanna compute the partial of this uh, with respect to x. This will be del del x of f of y minus kx, just like that. And so to compute this partial, we're basically going to have to use the chain rule. So we'll start by taking the derivative of the outside function. And so the derivative of the outside is simply f prime of y minus kx. Then you leave the inside alone. So here f is a function of uh, one variable, right? It's got one input. We're plugging in y minus kx. So we're just taking the regular derivative here as the derivative of the outside. The chain rule then says we multiply by the derivative of the inside. So this is a derivative with respect to x, so the derivative of y is zero, and the derivative here of negative kx is simply negative k, just like that. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let's go compute del u del y. So this will be del del x of f of y minus kx. And again, the chain rule says we take the derivative of the outside, leave the inside untouched, times the derivative of the inside, which is simply one, right? Because the derivative of kx will be zero because it's a partial. All right, let's go ahead and plug everything in. I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite the partial so we have more room here. So this is del u del x, plus k del u del y, and that's equal to zero. And so now we're gonna go ahead and plug everything in. So del u del x is this piece here, so it's f prime of y minus kx times negative k. That was this piece up here, that's the del u del x, plus k times f prime of y minus kx, times one. And basically we have negative k times this, okay? And here we have a k times this. So let me write it like this. This is really negative. I'll put this k in the front so it's a little more clear. f prime y minus kx plus, and let's just clean this up. I'll write it as k f prime y minus kx. These are exactly opposites, so this is equal to zero, and we have completed the problem. We've shown that this function is a solution to this differential equation. So all you have to do is use the chain rule, which is really not so bad, and then just plug it in to um, the DE and verify that it's equal to zero. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.